yes done with your present all of you so till now we are go, uh, we have uh, studied uh, types of sentences then uh, figure of speech okay uh, phrases so today we are going to learn about noun and their types yes you all are familiar with this uh, that i know already but for new students it will be a new topic and for uh, whom i have taught already it will be just a revising material for all of you okay like every time jeva tumhi standard tumcha pudhe jat asta grammar does not changes okay grammar kadhi hi change hot nahi pratyek vei tumhala he sagla portion madhe asnar ahe but it will be in it will get advanced it will get developed okay so let's start now and now uh, their types so first we are going to cover uh, what is the definition of noun then i will uh, tell you the types of the same okay so noun refers to persons animals places things ideas or events etc nouns encompass most of the words of a language okay ekhada vyakti cha prana cha kiwa ekhada jage cha एखाद्या गोष्टीचं कल्पनेचं प्रत्येक गोष्टीला एक नाव देतो आपण त्यालाच आपण नाऊन असं म्हणतो ओके वी कॉल इट ऍज नाऊन सो द वर्ड्स इन एनी लँग्वेज आर कम्पो आर मेड अप ऑफ नाऊन ओनली ओके दे आर नाऊन ओनली सो येस हिअर आर सम एक्झाम्पल्स येस हॅव यू गॉट वॉट इज नाऊन name of any person okay it it is a name of any person any animal any place any idea we called it as noun okay yes so uh, see the examples person a, a name for a person everyone please keep your mic off name of a person okay so it may be anything like uh, the one showing uh, on my screen dheeraj anagha uh, dipika kartik vahika okay any name name of any person here they have given examples max julie catherine michael bob etc okay they are not indian names that's why i have taken yours uh, animal animals a name for any animal okay uh, like uh, commonly we call dog is an animal but we are calling it dog so it is name of that animal okay so da- dog cat cow kangaroo or then frog fish anything you can call it as then place <clears throat> any place having uh, any place name of any place like london australia canada india mumbai maharashtra yes then think thing anything like you play with bat ball uh, chair door house computer etc idea any idea or your feeling is also noun okay your feeling or any idea is also noun like devotion superstition happiness excitement etc okay so before moving to the different types of noun okay let okay first uh, you are going to write two example of each yes everyone is gonna write two example of each first name of person right name of person two examples you have to write for everything please put two names together yes okay <coughs> sorry okay yes next is animal an animal kartiki please put two names together only
ओके देन नाउ फॉर अ प्लेस नेम ऑफ एनी प्लेस यू कैन राइट ओवर हियर okay thing thing right names for thing yes okay idea idea any idea or feeling idea okay ideas like happy sad excited mad anything you can write okay yes okay done so shall we move to the examples uh, okay sorry uh, the types of the noun yes let me tell you the types first is there are uh, <clears throat> okay uh, so so there are some types of nouns like proper noun common noun abstract noun concrete noun countable noun non countable noun collective noun and compound noun okay we will see some of them let's start with the proper noun proper noun is a name which refers only to a single person place or thing and there is no common name for it okay in written english a proper noun always begins with capital letters like you always write your name surname your father's name in capital letters yes so this is a proper noun proper noun ka asta ekhada specific vyakti la ekhada specific jage la kiwa ekhada specific goshti la dilela naav manje proper noun like your name okay uh, so if we if we take example of a name sneha so there must be uh, uh, two more two or more snehas in your uh, in your class but that one sneha is different from other yes do you agree yes the name should be uh, their name should be same but they are different like uh, they they are uh, they must be showing different properties okay so a proper noun is specific for a single person for that place or that thing only okay so when we write in english when we write a proper noun you have to always start it with capital letter so examples are there melbourne 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 is a city okay so melbourne it refers to only one particular city steve refers to a particular person melbourne is a city and steve is a person's name we can take uh, mumbai mumbai is a particular city and ayush ayush is a name of particular person okay australia there is no other country named australia australia this name is fixed for only one country okay so uh, as far as countries are taken in consideration there is only one country which is having uh, their only one name okay unique name asnari fakta ekach country aste like australia india there is no other india in the world map okay purna jagacha nakashavar dusra bharat desh kute hi nahi mhanun tala apan jeva tumhala proper noun vicharla jail example la teva tumhi mostly countries cha kiwa city cha naav lihaycha prayatna kara yes कॉज जी गावी नाव है गावी नाव मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम रिपीटेड सो 
प्लीज ट्राय टू राईट कंट्रीज एक्झाम्पल लाईक म्हणजे ते जास्त इफेक्टिव्ह वाटेल ओके नेक्स्ट येस अंडरस्टूड अबाउट दी प्रॉपर नाऊन येस अंडरस्टूड सो कॅन यू राईट एक्झाम्पल ऑफ प्रॉपर नाऊन राईट इट विथ अ सेंटेन्स अ प्रॉपर नाऊन शुड बी देअर इन सेंटेन्स प्लीज राईट इट not a single name but you have to mention it in the sentence you have to make a sentence with that yes i live in maharashtra state yes yes like this sentences you have to make please uh, no kartik village is village will be a common noun you can mention name of your village okay done next next is common noun common noun is a name for something which is common okay yes okay yes uh, please focus over here common noun is a name for something which is common for many things person or places it encap- encompasses a particular type of things person or places okay so what is a common noun common noun the name itself is suggesting that the name which we use commonly for many things bharpur vastun sathi jasa जर तुम्ही बॅट बॉल आणि तुमची काही खेळणी टाकलेली असतील खाली सगळा सगळ्या पसारा करून ठेवला असेल तर आई काय म्हणणार येऊन त्या वस्तू उचल असं म्हणणार ना असं बोलणार का येऊन की ती बॅट उचल तो बॉल उचल असं सगळ्या एवढ्या गोष्टींची नावं घेण्यापेक्षा आई काय म्हणणार आपल्याला त्या वस्तू उचल मग त्या वस्तूंमध्ये काय आलं या सगळ्या गोष्टी आल्या ज्या तुम्ही तिथे खाली पसारा करून ठेवला आहे त्या बरोबर म्हणजेच कॉमन नाऊन म्हणजे काय आपण कॉमनली ज्या जी नावे एखाद्या व्यक्तीसाठी थिंगसाठी किंवा प्लेसेससाठी युज करतो त्याला कॉमन नाऊन म्हणायचं जसं कंट्रीचं सिटीचं जर आपण एक्झाम्पल घेतलं येस सिटीचं जर आपण एक्झाम्पल घेतलं तर मेलबर्न मुंबई ओके न्यू मुंबई दे आर लाईक सिटीज बट बट आय टेक ओके दे विल बी द प्रॉपर नाव मुंबई विल बी द प्रॉपर नाव पण मी जर असं म्हटलं की आय एम गोईंग टू अ सिटी सो सिटी विल बी अ कॉमन नाव ओके सो इट मे बाय बाय हिअरिंग सिटी तुम्हाला मग तुम्हाला असा प्रश्न पडू शकतो की नक्की कोणती सिटी मग जर सिटीचं नाव मेन्शन केलं तर ते काय होणार प्रॉपर नाव पण फक्त सिटी असं मेन्शन केलं किंवा अॅनिमल पर्सन असं मेन्शन केलं तर ते का होणार कॉमन नाऊन येस अंडरस्टूड अबाउट कॉमन नाऊन येस प्लीज टेल मी हॅव यू अंडरस्टूड अबाउट कॉमन नाऊन ओके सो प्लीज राईट एक्झाम्पल गर्ल बॉय कॅन बी इन्क्लुडेड ओके येस आय एम गोईंग टू सिटी ही इज अ शेफ ओके येस ओके येस ओके सो शाल वी गो फॉरवर्ड टू दी ऍबस्ट्रॅक्ट नाव सी वॉट इज ऍबस्ट्रॅक्ट नाव ऍबस्ट्रॅक्ट इज अ फिलिंग ओके ऍबस्ट्रॅक्ट इज ऍक्च्युली अ फिलिंग सी अँड ऍबस्ट्रॅक्ट नाव इज अ वर्ड फॉर समथिंग दॅट कॅनॉट बी सीन बट इट इज दॅट ओके सी when you are happy when you get something uh, something new from your dad or mom then you are very happy but is it uh, written over uh, your face that it, you you are happy sanga mala jar tumhala ekadi goshta me ali gharatlan kadun ta tumhi khush asta pan tumcha kapala var lihun eta ka ki i am happy no yes it is not like that 
सो ऍब्स्ट्रॅक्ट नाऊन म्हणजे काय ऍब्स्ट्रॅक्ट म्हणजे फिलिंग एखादी फिलिंग जेव्हा एखाद्या गोष्टीला एक्झिस्टन्स इट एक्झिस्ट तुम्ही खुश आहात पण ते कुठे लिहिलेलं नाहीये ओके यू आर फिलिंग इट इन साईड यू आर हॅपी यू आर फिलिंग इट इन साईड बट दे हॅव नॉट रिटर्न यू दॅट दिस इज दिस इज ही इज हॅपी और शी इज हॅपी ऑन युअर हेड येस सो द क्वालिटीज जनरली द ऍब्स्ट्रॅक्ट नाऊन रिफर्स टू आयडियाज क्वालिटीज अँड कंडिशन वॉट एव्हर कंडिशन इन यु आर हॅपी यु आर हॅपी यु आर सॅड ओके यु आर लाईंग यु आर स्पीकिंग टू ट्रूथ यु हॅव सॉरो देन युअर फ्रेंडशिप इज व्हेरी लॉंग लाईक दिस सेंटेन्सेस पेट्रिओटिझम ओके दिस ऑल आर वॉट क्वालिटीज ऑर आयडियाज ऑर फिलिंग्स दॅट विल इन्क्लूड इन ॲब्स्ट्रॅक्ट नाव ओके Yes, understood about abstract noun. Abstract noun la physical existence nasta. Aple la dhisat na hi. Pandhi gausha aste. Like our feeling. So, uh, can you write example? Yes, I think she is sad. He is suffering from fear. Yes, he is very honest boy. Yes, I am very happy. I was excited too. Yes, I'm so happy. Okay. I'm good. I'm sad. Okay. Good. I think she's scared. Scared. Okay, you can say I'm sleeping. I'm sleep is not the correct word. Okay. Uh, let's see the concrete noun. What is a concrete, concrete noun? concrete noun can be also uh, said as material noun okay concrete noun noun la material noun asa mhatla jata lakshat thevaycha ahe jar question ala material noun tar tumhi confuse vhaycha nahi it is a concrete noun only so a concrete noun is the exact opposite of abstract noun it refers to the things we see and have physical existence bagha abstract noun kay hota abstract noun la फिजिकल एक्झिस्टन्स नाही पण ती गोष्ट अस्तित्वात आहे असं आपण म्हणतो आपल्या डोळ्यांना दिसत नाही पण ती गोष्ट आहे तर ते काय असणार ऍब्स्ट्रॅक्ट नाऊन पण कॉन्क्रीट नाऊन इज एक्झॅक्टली अपोजिट कॉन्क्रीट नाऊन काय असत ती वस्तू समोर तुम्हाला दिसणारच आहे लाईक चेअर टेबल बॅट बॉल वॉटर मनी शुगर दिज ऑल आर वॉट मटेरियल्स ओके सो इट इज अ कॉन्क्रीट नाऊन येस नाऊन name of anything that is having a physical existence name of any things that is having a physical existence is called as concrete noun okay okay uh, if you have understood please write examples okay i'm sitting on the chair i have many balls yes she bring gold from me for me yes i have a bag okay okay yes next is countable noun okay uh, can you tell me the uh, word what you what the word is suggesting you हे वर्ड वाचून तुम्हाला काहीतरी आयडिया आली असेल ना डोक्यात वॉट शुड बी अ काउंटेबल नाऊन सांगा येस रुद्र येस मिस द नाऊन दॅट कॅन काउंटेड आर कॉल्ड काउंटेबल नाऊन ओके सो काउंटेबल नाऊन फॉर एक्झाम्पल Yes, okay. Okay, see. So, countable nouns are the nouns that can be counted. Yes, upon jenna mozu shakto, tenna countable noun manai cha hai. Like, uh, ane countable noun hai, article varun chalu hota. Tencha agodar aplela article use la vewe lagta. Like, a and the. Okay, so chair, table, bat, ball, all are countable nouns. Like, uh, 
if i give you a group of chairs okay some uh, a group of chair then you can count them like 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many are there you can count the table one table is there two tables are there one bat is there two balls are there okay like this you can count count it so which whichever material you can count it is a material noun only okay it is a concrete noun is a, okay countable and non countable noun are con included in the material noun only concrete noun madhe uh, included astat material noun madhe included astat but जे तुम्ही मोजू शकता ज्याचं तुम्ही काउंटिंग करू शकता त्याला काउंटेबल नाऊन म्हणायचं आहे ओके येस बिफोर रायटिंग द एक्झाम्पल्स आपण नाऊन काउंटेबल नाऊन सुद्धा पाहूया आणि नंतर तुम्ही एकत्र दोघांचे एक्झाम्पल लिहा ओके सी सो व्हॉट इज नॉन काउंटेबल द नेम इट सेल्फ इज सजेस्टिंग दॅट नाऊन काउंटेबल इज वी कॅनॉट काउंट दॅट the nouns that cannot be counted are called non countable nouns okay major karu shakto apan ata tumhi manal mag me dukan wale kade gele var apan ardha kilo sakhar magtoch mag te non countable kasa jhala tumhi major karu shakta apan tumhi count karu shakat nahi tumhi bolu shakta ka one sugar two sugar two three sugar asa mhanto ka apan sanga नो वी कॅन नॉट से लाईक दॅट मेजर करू शकतो आपण क्वांटिटी आहे त्याला ओके क्वांटिटी आहे क्वांटिटी त्याची मेजर करू शकतो आपण पण इंग्लिश ग्रामर मध्ये त्याला बोलताना आपण वन शुगर वन ऑइल टू सॉल्ट असं म्हणू शकत नाही म्हणून ते काय झाले नॉन काउंटेबल ओके सो द नाऊन्स दॅट कॅन नॉट बी काउंटेड आर कॉल नॉन नॉन काउंटेबल नाऊन्स ज्या नाऊन्सला आपण काउंट करू शकत नाही त्यांना आपण नॉन काउंटेबल नाऊन असं म्हणायचं आहे सो वॉटर शुगर ऑइल सॉल्ट एक्सेट्रा यू कॅन नॉट से वन वॉटर टू वॉटर थ्री वॉटर बिकॉज वॉटर इज नॉन काउंटेबल नाऊन ओके येस सो प्लीज राईट एक्झाम्पल ऑफ वन काउंटेबल नाऊन अँड वन नॉन काउंटेबल नाऊन फर्स्ट यू हॅव टू राईट काउंटेबल अँड देन नॉन काउंटेबल स्टार्ट yes yes okay go for countable first yes okay so now you all have, have understood about countable now go for non countable write for non non countable no prathamesh do not write the number we cannot write it we cannot count it that's why we are uh, that's why we are writing it in non count countable yes uh, you have not understood very clearly what i have told you kay sangitla mi tumhi count karu shakat nahi 2 kg sugar 6 kg sugar 8 kg sugar he nahi mention karaycha ahe ite just you have to say sugar yes yes like this like dipika has written give me the milk it is a sentence yes. it is a sentence milk she has not written like give me 2 liter milk or 1 liter milk yes yes i got sugar yes like this sentences i was expecting from you i have bought sugar from shop yes like this now dipika prathamesh and rudra has written nicely yes i got salt yes i bought rice from market yes mobile is countable dear Mobile is countable. Yes. 
okay so uh, shall we move yes now you all got whatever i was expecting yes good now the collective noun what is a collective noun collect collection manje kay group okay collective madun apan ek ek word dokyat ghaycha aplya collection collection manje kay apan jeva ekadi ek gosht anto ani जस तुम एखाद फेवरेट टॉय है तुम्हें एवेन्जर ची सीरीज जमा करता है मग पहला तुम्हें कैप्टन अमेरिका आला मग एक आला मग दुसरा आला एकत्र एकत्र मग तुम तो एक ग्रुप तैयार ओके मैं ग्रुपला तुम्हें का मना चो आ हेव कलेक्शन ऑफ एवेन्जर्स अना तुम्हें ओके यस यू विल से लाइक आ हेव कलेक्शन ऑफ एवेन्जर्स मग तो ग्रुप बनवला कि नहीं तुम्हें मग कलेक्टिव नाउन काय अ कलेक्टिव नाउन इज अ वर्ड फॉर अ ग्रुप ऑफ थिंग्स पीपल और एनिमल्स व्यक्ति का वस्तु प्राणी ग्रुप समूह जी ज्यादा समझते है कलेक्टिव नाउन ओके वेट ओके माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल नाउ फोन वॉज लॉक्ड इज इट विजिबल ओके ओके सी सो कलेक्टिव नाउन वेन एवर यू रीड अ वर्ड तुम्ही जेव एखाद नाउन वाचता है ज्याने तुम्हारा कहता है कि हा नाउन व्यक्ति वस्तु एनिमल ऐसी ग्रुप दर्शवत है कलेक्टिव नाउन लाइक फैमिल फैमिल इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ फैमिल मेम्बर्स ओके देन टीम टीम इज ग्रुप ऑफ प्लेयर्स ज्यूरी ज्यूरी इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ द जजेस एंड ओके जजेस ज्यूरी इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ जजेस कैटल कैटल इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ काउज एंड मेनी गेजिंग एनिमल्स ओके अंडरस्टूड वॉट कलेक्टिव नाउन इज लाइक यू कैन राइट फ्लॉक ऑफ शीप आई एम लिविंग इन बिग फैमिल माय इंडिया इज माय फेवरेट इंडिया क्रिकेट टीम इज माय फेवरेट यस यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द कलेक्टिव नाउन just you have to uh, yes uh, yes just you have to use that word in your sentence okay right yes two bunches of rose flowers yes my school football team good i saw sorry what of crow yes done the bouquet of flower yes yes and then collection bunch of flower yes next is the compound noun compound noun so what is the compound noun sometimes two or three nouns appear together or even with other parts of speech and create idiomatic compound nouns kadhi kadhi ka hota ek kiwa tacha peksha sorry don kiwa tacha peksha jasta noun ekatra etat ani te compound noun banavtat idiomatic compound noun idiomatic mhanje kay idiomatic means that those nouns behave as a unit and to a lesser or greater degree amount to more than the sum of their parts c idiomatic mhanje kay te noun kay karta two or three noun ekatra eta ani te eka unit pramane mhanje te ekatra ahet asha prakare vakyamadhe behave karta yes tela kay mhanaycha ahe compound noun like six pack he has six pack five year old she has 
फाइव इयर ओल्ड सन सन इन लॉ सी लॉ सन टू नाउन आर देर फाइव इयर ओल्ड थ्री नाउन आर देर सिक्स सिक्स इज अ नंबर पैक पैक इज अ कलेक्टिव नाउन एंड टू नाउन आर यूज ओवर हियर मेल बॉक्स मेल इज वन वन थिंग बॉक्स इज वन थिंग एंड देर मेड टूगेदर टू फॉर्म अ कंपाउंड नाउन स्नो बॉल स्नो इज आइस स्नो इज डिफरेंट थिंग बॉल ball we play with that ball is a different thing but they are make coming together to form a compound noun which is called as snowball and it is uh, making a meaning yes understood about it, sorry understood about the compound nouns like you can say he has a six pack she has five year old son her son in law is very smart then uh, they are uh, they are playing playing with snowball my my mailbox is full today yes like this please write the sentences my brother have six packs okay i'm 10 year old i make a snowman i have got Okay, I have got earrings for you. She is my mother-in-law. I read newspaper every day. I am eleven uh, years old. She is my brother-in-law. I read textbook. I am eleven years. Yes, please make uh, present uh, your spellings clear. Yes, understood. Yes, here we have completed. Here we have completed types of nouns. What we have learned. what types of noun we have learned we have learned about proper noun proper noun is particularly uh, particular for that single person single place or for single thing yes like mumbai melbourne india then common noun common noun is uh, something which is commonly used for many things person or places like girl boy country city yes then abstract noun abstract noun is a feeling feeling idea or quality or a condition like happiness sorrow sad friendship patriotism etc then concrete noun concrete noun is a material noun it uh, a material which is there before you which is there which is in front of your eyes and which have a physical existence like chair uh, sorry uh, chair table cycle ball water etc then countable noun countable and non countable noun are the parts of uh, the concrete noun only yes countable and non countable one are part of uh, concrete or material nouns only but the materials which can be counted are called countable nouns like chair table bat ball but the material which cannot be counted having some names are called non countable noun like water sugar oil salt etc then collective noun collective noun is a group or collection of people animal or things like family jury cattle team etc then compound noun compound noun how compound noun forms when two or three nouns appears together to form a idiomatic compound noun which we have unitedly in a sentence and which is having a particular meaning like six pack uh, mailbox snowball earrings son in law 5 year old like this okay clearly understood please make sure are you clear have you clearly understood yes okay okay yes uh, there are some examples of uh, countable nouns like i saw two owls sitting on the tree there are four milk bottles see milk we cannot count but milk bottle we can count yes yes mm -hmm. please do not get confused please do not get confused milk ahe tar tela uncountable noun madhe nahi lihaycha neat sentence vacha 
मिल्क बॉटल मेन्शन के लिए फोर मिल्क बॉटल्स मेन्शन के लिए काउंटेबल वी कै वी कैनॉट काउंट द मिल्क बट वी कैन काउंट द मिल्क बॉटल्स ओके माय फादर हैज टू कार्स आई नीड एन अम्ब्रेला टू गेट आउट इन द रेन टू मेक दिस केक वी नीड एन एग ओके देन देर आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कलेक्टिव नाउन सी कलेक्टिव नाउन माय मैटर्नल आन बॉट मी अ पेर ऑफ टेनिस शूज पेर ऑफ टेनिस शूज मे दोन शूज मग तो ग्रुप एक पेर At the playground, you get to observe a colony of ants. Mungyanchi colony. Ekatra ala tya mungya group zala tensa. We called it as colony. A pile of clothes was kept at the on the bed. Bed var ah kapadansa third table la hota. Pile of clothes. Kapade ekavre kratz le le hote. So clothes are making group and we called it as pile and it is a collective noun. next i need to finish an agenda of task before i leave agenda of task kahi task ekatra ale ani tani ek group form kela we called it as agenda there is a network of computers in joseph's office joseph cha office madhe kay ahe net computers cha network ahe mhanje khup computer ekmekala connected ahet we called it as network of computer yes okay so there are compound nouns some more example of compound nouns see i can look at his time table time table two nouns are coming together to form one compound noun time table i was going to be lunch sorry it was going to be lunch time lunch jevne time where they are coming together to form a compound noun lunch time next third the basketball match was scheduled in the afternoon yes basket a basket ball you are playing with coming together to form a basketball a compound noun afternoon is also a compound noun just after the breakfast matt rushed to his track suit track suit is a compound noun x ray were discovered by william conrad rowington it is a also x rays x rays both are different words but coming together to form a compound noun okay and uh, also some examples of uh, common noun like teachers teach in school they are not mentioning the name of teacher only uh, there is like teacher it may be any word a, a male teacher or a female teacher school it may they are not mentioning a school's name over here yes so any school should be that it may be sorry it may be any school so it is a common noun birds live on trees Not mentioning a bird, sparrow, crow. No, for the birds, sangeetla hai. I mean, just common now. Jhada sa pan now mention nahi kela mango, uh, then jamun. Asa kahi mention kela so tarte kya zala so proper now. But for the trees mention kela la hai. Hence, it is a common now. I love to read story books. Story book. Konti story book ka hai. Story book cha naava hai ka fairy tale la hai ki ka hai ka hai so specific naava hai ka no. Sally's mother is a doctor. डॉक्टर सी डॉक्टर इज अ प्रोफेशन डॉक्टर इज अ प्रोफेशन बट वेन यू मेन्शन अ पर्टिक्युलर डॉक्टर लाइक फिजिशियन गायनेक ओके ई स्पेशलिस्ट तेव्हा ते प्रॉपर नाउन होणार सी डॉक्टर इज अ कॉमन नाउन ओनली दिस चॉकलेट्स अँड केक्स आर सो डिलिशियस चॉकलेट्स केक्स डिलिशियस ओके understood here are some examples about the proper noun also my name is mark her name is sophie come tom let us go for a walk hello jack my cousin lives in norway these bears are from china albert einstein was born in germany i visited the taj mahal in india fio and la are close friends here mark sophie tom Mark is a name of a boy. Sophie. Sophie is a name of girl. Tom. Tom. Uh, Tom may be a cat or whatever. A pet. It should be. Jack. Jack is a name of boy. Uh, Norway. Norway is a place. Then uh, China. China is also a place. Albert Einstein was a scientist. Great scientist. Name of a man. Germany. Name of a country. Taj Mahal. Name of a place. India. Name of a country. Fio and La. name of 
name of person yes understood these examples okay now tell me here is one example gary went to school what is gary which noun is that it is a name of person tell me yes it's a proper noun okay and what will be the common noun in this कॉमन नाउन को स्कूल स्कूल विल बी द कॉमन नाउन ओके नेक्स्ट ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी क्लियर हियर आर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड आर देर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड यस कर्णिका एंड कर्णिका इज देर कर्णिका यू हैव युअर मैथ्स क्लास एट सेवन पी एम राइट okay 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 uh, okay uh, make it fast next alaska is a beautiful place what is beautiful over here which noun is beautiful i am asking about beautiful abstract yes yes and alaska will be the proper noun it is a place i love pizza love what will be love yes abstract sam and kate made bread which are the proper noun in this sam and kate also kate is also a name okay yes english is fun to learn english is fun to learn what is a proper noun over here english yes yes russia can be very cold russia can be very cold which two types of nouns are mentioned in this konta don type che noun ite mention kelele ahet sanga proper and abstract yes proper and abstract nouns are mentioned over here russia is proper and cold is abstract okay students so i think uh, we should stop here cause uh, some of the students have uh, classes at uh, 7 pm so we are going to stop over here for today uh, okay i i will uh, yes so the problem wa was uh, the problem is yeah, that uh, you have not joined your google classroom many of the students are not there in your grammar's google classroom so i am unable to post the homework over there yes please join that so that i can uh, post the homework over there okay uh, just before leaving before leaving a quick review ghevu ya apan ek noun cha ek ekatra table ahe yes before leaving uh look at this proper noun a specific person then thing or idea yes examples are mary disneyland common noun a general person place thing or idea okay girl state park singular noun okay singular and plural you can make it very easily like dish is a singular plural uh, dishes are plural compound noun compound noun two or more words to create uh, that create one noun toothpaste six pack post office mailbox right countable that which can be counted like dolphin book uncountable which cannot be counted freedom sand water sugar concrete noun can be seen felt heard smelled or tasted cat tom salt these are concrete then abstract noun abstract noun are cannot be seen felt heard or smelled okay freedom love power happiness sadness etc uh, collective noun group of things 
family herd team yes understood whatever i have uh, taught you today yes okay okay uh, yes uh, so we are going to stop over here for today and uh, for some of the students have the next class also yes so we are going to stop you can uh, Yes, you can leave the class now. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. -bye. bye, -bye.